we are on our way to Aveiro, which is about 40 minutes south from Porto and about 3 hours drive from Sisimbra, where we stay at the moment. As you can see, the clouds are quite grey and it even drizzled for a little bit, but the weather forecast promised us that there will be blue sky and sunshine late in the day. We are now in a... how to say that? Avira? Aveiro. 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 So we parked our car somewhere outside of, uh, of the city center. We found a nice parking. And we are now walking towards the river. Just at the exit of this kind of new shopping mall, there starts the this canal with this uh, quite oversized gondola. So that's like uh, for huge groups, and we will see them on the other side here. It's quite windy today but uh, still comfortable. So how do you like it so far? We're not sure what to eat and where to eat. I mean, restaurant or just to go to the shopping mall and there, there are also the quite nice place. places. Yeah, so there is a, there are a couple of seafood restaurants. And I, Michael would like something non-seafood. I, non I kind of I kinda like something not fishy today. But I understand that uh, it might be good seafood here. So maybe we'll check that out. So that's supposedly over there.
this place was packed full. Fully booked, actually. <laughs> packed full, uh, fully booked, um, because nice. they obviously have to reduce the number of tables. Uh, looked very nice, but they have already a waiting list, so we need to get something else, because Michael gets hungry and Lausa gets hungry, and if you're both hungry, not good. Not good. <laughs> Finally, we found a nice place and started already with our starter. That's a ham, and that is a cheese. It looks like um, I don't know what it is. Actually. So this is grilled, like grilled a salty sheep. sheep's cheese, and that's uh, is, that's uh, I don't know, but just a famous Portuguese, Portuguese. cheese, which they won two years in a row the best cheese or something. The best cheese of the year in Portugal. We should try that. Yeah. Like. Soft, buttery cheese. This is... I love that they always say like you only pay what you eat. Yeah. But I guess once you start on a plate, then you pay the plate, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very nice. Mother would love to be here right now. Really? That's mother's she favorite. She loves that kind of cheese. Interesting. It's very, very cheap. I think this is what we saw uh, yesterday. In, you remember? And he was cutting off the the top and like taking yeah. out. I think this is this kind of cheese. He mentioned something with porto, something. Very, very flavored. Buttery, flavored. Is that normal cheese or is it goat cheese? I don't know. I have no idea, but it's really good. Nice. Actually, oh. special bags for the masks. So I came with this mask, I put it in here. And put your mask here. <laughs> nice. Michael, are you happy? Oh yeah. How can that not make me happy? This is exactly what we saw in the in the uh, Anthony Bodin uh, when he visited uh, Porto. I think so. It's good. That looks uh, similar to what we had there. Seems to be like a local speciality. And then he asked the question, uh, how many people have a heart disease here? <laughs> and she said, almost nobody. <laughs> Depends how much you eat, she tasted. Depends, I just eat that once, so I should be fine. Sausage. Going by the ingredients, it must be good. Okay? It's just good stuff. I wanted to try so authentic uh, bacala, you know, bacala fish. Mm. It's authentic and it's beautiful. I'm looking forward to try that. So what do you have here? We have this fish which looks very crispy, you know, it's grilled or something, you see? Crispy. Mm -hmm. 
potatoes and I don't know what that's spinach maybe. I have no idea what I will try. It's good. The gravy and crispiness is making fish very interesting to eat because cold fish sometimes can be boring. Michael is enjoying his coffee, but we skipped the dessert because we were quite full. I'm sure we missed out on something, because the owner told us that some of them were prepared with his mother's recipes. Uh, all these uh, striped buildings which is apparently it is famous for uh, this is just a little one which has a uh, little shop but uh, there are houses there like are, there's like streets like one house after the next just like this stripey thing some of them are painted some of them are tiles and there are a lot of uh, modern buildings in between so it's just really beautiful mm -hmm. 